in exothermic reaction, this is the process. through which the system or the reaction loses heat energy to the environment. So the heat is lost to the environment. So we start with the lower energy. Then move to higher energy. Examples of exothermic reaction involve dissolving sodium hydroxide in water. So in this reaction, the system, this is our system, and water, the environment, is able to absorb through heat energy to the environment, so it will be a negative sign. So on the energy level diagram, so we have energy in kilojoules, and then we have the reaction pathway. So in this case, there is a difference. We start from a higher energy. And then we move to a lower energy. And in this one, the sign now will be negative. The sign now will be negative because you are moving from a higher energy to a lower energy. And that one again applies to potassium hydroxide. This one again applies to potassium hydroxide. So we start from a, a higher energy, potassium hydroxide. Then we go to a lower energy. So the sign there will be negative, negative sign, indicating that potassium hydroxide lost heat. to water and water is the environment. So learners, you can be able to plot what you call energy level diagram uh, back at home, whereby the reaction, I'll give you examples of exothermic reactions and endothermic uh, reaction. So for the exothermic reactions, Endothermic, I would like you to plot and graph energy level diagram. Examples, plot and graph involving potassium nitrate, energy level diagram, and then ammonium nitrate. You plot the energy level diagram back at home. And then examples of exothermic. Energy level diagram for potassium hydroxide and then energy level diagram for potassium hydroxide. I believe you are enjoying your holiday, so do this work and we will continue from there.